so I'm finally doing the Winterlicious tag and I've been meaning to do this video for a long time and then the other week Jen from Close Encounters tagged me so thank you for tagging me Jen. I thought that wearing this jumper would be quite appropriate for this video. I don't have your typical Christmas jumper but I bought this from Topshop about a month ago and I feel like this is a more modern, nicer take on a Christmas jumper. I love this jumper. It feels really Christmassy to me. One more thing I wanted to mention before we get started is that on my second channel I have been doing Vlogmas. Vlogmas is basically doing daily vlogs from the 1st of December up until Christmas Day and I've been really enjoying it more than halfway through now so if you guys didn't know that I was doing Vlogmas then please sh be sure to go over to my second channel and check that out and make sure to subscribe to see my videos every day I'll link it in the down bar so anyway we're going to crack on with the tag and the first question is favourite winter nail polish and for me that would be Vixen by Revlon it's one I've only started using for the last couple of months and I love it and it just hasn't come off my nails and I've got it on today surprisingly and yeah I absolutely love it and it's really really good quality nail polish next question is favorite winter lip product and I've got four here to show you the first one is one that you guys know I've been using for years now and it's grace by number seven and I don't know where my new one is but it's this kind of very slightly brown undertone sort of lipstick and it's really nice and smooth and it doesn't dry out your lips but it does have more of a matte finish then if I want more of a vampire look I will wear Diva by MAC and this is sort of a really dark red and yeah it's just a really nice colour and I love to wear like vampy lipsticks when I'm wearing sort of like velvet and stuff it just feels really Christmassy to me last lipstick is Smoked Purple by MAC and now this is quite a in your face vampy lipstick and it's a dark purple but it is a really lovely colour and then the last product is a lip liner and it's their creme stick liners and it's in Velvetella and it's from MAC and I really like this and it's brilliant for wearing either under smoked purple or if you want to darken one of your favourite lipsticks so use this as a liner and then fill in all your lips and then put the lipstick over the top and it will give like a different dimension to your lipstick and it's really nice and it's really nice to sort of darken up lipsticks. Most worn winter clothing piece is a really easy one for me and I think quite a lot of other YouTubers have mentioned it as well and that would be my leather jacket. I get asked about my leather jacket all the time and it's more sort of a cropped jacket and I really like it because it sort of nips you in at the waist. It's from Topshop Petite and it's not real leather so it was like £55. I don't think they have it anymore but I will try and find one similar and link it for you. But I love this, I've been wearing it all summer and now all winter. My most worn winter accessory is a tie up between two things. Uh, the first one is my tartan scarf which you guys have seen a lot. It's from ASOS. They sort of have it in stock and then they don't and then they do and then they don't. So I don't know if they've got it in stock at the moment but I always link stuff in the down bar if I can find it for you guys to make your life easier. And the next accessory that I wanted to mention and it's something you guys can probably guess again and it's woolen hats. I have quite a lot I wear them through the summer, through the spring, through the autumn and through winter. This isn't even my whole collection. have my beanies. I might do a video on all my hats. Anyway, off, top off topic. Beanies are something that I wear all year round. And then I feel like bobbly hats, which I've got here. I've got more in my wardrobe, but these are sort of the ones I wear the most. Bobbly hats are sort of just brilliant for winter and they look a lot more sort of winterish. Uh, but the ones I do wear the most at the moment are these. I've got this cream one from Topshop that I got uh, two or three years ago now then I've got this navy one that I got from Primark the other week question five is favourite winter scent slash candle so I have two scents to show you I've been cheating I've been doing numerous items for each question I'm sorry first one that I've been loving just recently is this Dita Fontese perfume and it did get sent to me I wanted to try it out because a Dita Fontese perfume sounded really nice and you can get it in boots and it only retails at £20. I did think for £20 it's probably not going to smell very nice and it does smell so good. I love it and it is quite a wintry scent. I'm not going to try and explain it to you. Maybe go into boots or somewhere and try and um, figure out what it smells like for yourself. But it does have more of a sort of wintry smell to it and I'm really loving it. But the one that I do associate with Christmas is a flower born by Victor and Ralph and yes I can't 
count how many times I've mentioned it in videos, but I get this every birthday, and if you guys didn't know, my birthday's on the 21st of December, which means it's very, very close to Christmas, so anything to do with my birthday just ends up getting associated with Christmas, so I've been wearing this for the last three or four years now, so this smell is really nostalgic to me. And the winter candle that I've been loving this year is this Yankee candle, and it's in Red Apple Wreath. <laughs> I just... I love it. It's my favourite Christmas scent that I've tried of there so far. Favourite winter beverage would have to be probably hot chocolate with cinnamon in it and then marshmallows and squirty cream on top and then grated chocolate. Question number seven is all time favourite Christmas movie. Now I have about four. Now classic movie wise I would have to say would be Home Alone and I've got like the whole box set. I don't really like Home Alone 3 and 4. I like Home Alone 1 and 2. And then, I thought I had The Snowman, but I don't. They're probably my two classic films I love. And then, they're not so classic, but sort of classic. I don't know. You know what I mean. One would be Love Actually. I just love it so much. I just, ah, uh -huh, I love it. And then, the other one, which I thought I had again, but I don't. And that's The Holiday, with um, Cameron Diaz, Jude Law, um, Jack Black, and... Oh, come on, I've nearly got the whole cast and I forget one. Um, damn it, I can't remember the last person. But yeah, really, really good film. Check it out if you haven't. Um, but yeah, so Love Actually, Home Alone, um, The Snowman and The Holiday are like my favourite Christmas films. Next question is favourite Christmas song. And I would have to say, I love Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, Silent Night. I don't know, is Silent Night really a Christmassy song? It is, I love Silent Night when it's sung like really lovely it's quite an emotional song. I love all Christmas songs to be honest though. But yeah, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree is a good old classic. Favourite holiday food or treat is the next question. And I would have to say I love a good old mince pie with a big dollop of cream. And then I love Christmas dinner. But to be honest, Christmas dinner is just like a normal Sunday roast. Question 10 is what is your favourite Christmas decoration this year? Now I would have said the bunting that I got to put in my room but it's too long that I've got nowhere to put it. So that'd be cheating, so I can't really show you that. So the only one that I can think of is these little love heart shaped things that you hang on like doors and stuff. And I think they're just really cute. So I, uh, this one was the one that was hanging on my door. And I also have one hanging next to my Christmas tree and on my window. And yeah, I just think they're really nice. Second to last question is what is at top of your Christmas list this year? And if I'm going to be really, really tacky... I just want to have a really good Christmas and spend it with all the people that I love. But top of my Christmas list is an iPad. The last question is, what are your plans for the holidays this year? I don't really have a very traditional family. A lot of people I know sort of spend it all with family. And I'm really jealous because I would love to have Christmases like that, but I never have. So Christmas Eve, I'm spending it with Doug and my mates. I think we're just going to sort of spend it at the pub and do karaoke and get merry. And then Christmas Day, I'm going to be just sort of milling around on my own for quite a long time and then around six o'clock I'm going to go over to my mum and stepdad's and we're going to go to Hotel de Van again, have our Christmas meal and then go back to my mum's and probably open our Christmas presents to each other and then on Boxing Day I'll be spending it with Doug at his house with his family which is just around the corner which is good because if it snows I can just walk. For like New Year's I don't even know what I'm doing for New Year's but I know on the 1st of January it's going to be mine and Doug's 6 month anniversary so he's actually going back to work on the 1st so we won't have time to do anything to like celebrate so we've um, booked a table to have a meal together to celebrate um, early evening of New Year's Eve and then um, in the evening I'm sure we're just get very very drunk with our friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!